Looking for farming tips? Well, I've got the video for you. At a first glance, farming looks a bit daunting with all the steps it takes to get your fields turned into harvestable crops. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about farming in Medieval Dynasty. But first things first, I'm going to need you to pay the king's tax of one like or one sub. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Now, let's get started on some farming. First thing you'll need is a flat piece of land to place your field. In the crafting dial, go to buildings, farming, and then fields. Click once to place the start of your farm and drag it to the specified place you wish to end the farm. For this video, I'm making an 8x4 field. Next up, you're going to need a simple bag, a hoe, fertilizer, seeds of your choice, and a sickle. A simple bag can be crafted using three leather, which can be acquired by skinning animals. Wooden hoes can be handcrafted in your inventory using one log and five sticks. Fertilizers, seeds, and sickles can be bought from the vendor by the name of Edwin in Gestovia. If you're having trouble finding Edwin in Gestovia, he should be marked on your compass dial above with a wheat and bag symbol. Talk to him and buy one fertilizer for each field plot created. Since I have an 8x4 field, I'm going to need 32. Edwin also sells your stone sickles and seeds, so I'm going to buy one stone sickle and 32 seeds or grain. I'm going to leave a table up on screen regarding which crops can be planted and harvested each season. Assuming it's spring for you like it is for me, we can choose to plant wheat, flax, oats, carrots, onions, cabbage, beetroot, or poppies. Pretty much anything but rye, which is only able to be planted during autumn. If you would like to make your own fertilizer and stone sickles, you can make them using two buildings. Fertilizers can be made in the barn, costing you either manure or rot, and stone sickles can be made on the workbench in the smithy, costing about four sticks and stones each. Now head back to the fields. I'm going to plant a small group of each type just to show off the process in the video. Start by taking your hoe and plowing the field. Simply look down at the field that you want to plow and click it with your hoe. Once all the fields are plowed, we can place our fertilizer. Equip your simple bag, right click to open the dial options, and click on field. Select fertilizer, which is in the bottom left corner of the dial. Look down at your field plots and left click to spread fertilizer across the plots. After you set the fertilizer, hoe the field one more time. Once your plots are all fertilized, we can sow our seeds. Go back to the dial in the simple bag where the fertilizer was and you will see all the seeds available to be planted. The seeds that are unavailable to be planted in the current season will be marked by a yellow X, which is only rye since we are in the spring season. Just like the fertilizer, left click to sow your seeds into the fields. Now that the field has been plowed, fertilized, and seeded, the fields are done for the season. So let's fast forward to the next season really quick. Alright, now we've made it to the summer season and our plants have started to grow. Now some plants like cabbages, onions, and flax will be ready after one season. But if you look at the rest, they are still in the process of growing, as they take two whole seasons before being harvestable. So we're going to ignore those until autumn. Now that we can harvest though, let's start harvesting. Cabbages and onions can be picked up by hand, but some plants require a sickle or a scythe to harvest. So equip your sickle stand on the flax, and swing to harvest the flax. Additionally, you will gain seeds from harvesting your crops, so you shouldn't have to buy any more. Some crops don't yield seeds like flax, wheat, oats, and rye, but you can convert those into grain on the threshing floor in your barn to replant. Now, before we head to autumn, let's talk about some more advanced techniques. So this building right here is called a farming shed. Once you have a farming villager, you can assign them to your farming shed, and they will do all the plowing, tilling, sowing, and harvesting for you. We will use my villager Simowit Jemovit. Jemovit as an example. I'm going to assign him to the farming shed and place hoes, bags, sickles, and fertilizers into the farming shed chest for him to use. Next, go to your management tab, the crops tab, and select your field. Here you can see the current crop status and whether your plants are harvestable or not. Now go to the tab next over and this is where you will decide which plants will be planted in each plot. Select plant type and choose plant, and click or drag the selected plant on your fields. Since we have some empty plots, we will have our villager plant more cabbages this season. So long as our villager has all the tools and ingredients required in the farming shed chest, 
They will automatically plow, fertilize, sow seeds, and harvest your plants when ready. Which will end up in your food or resource storage, depending on the plant. I also thought I could special mention orchards. Now orchards work a bit differently than fields in that seeds are more expensive to plant but don't need to be replanted every season, with the option of being hops, apples, pears, plums, and cherries. Hops can be harvested every autumn season, while the fruits can only be harvested in the summer seasons. Note that it'll take about five seasons after planting fruit trees to harvest fruit from them. It looks like our Shemavit has finished his work and is heading off to one of my other fields, but let's fast forward to the autumn season. Now that we are in autumn, you can see that the plants I had planted in spring have finished growing, along with the cabbages. Now if you want to continue planting for the season, I would recommend planting rye at this time, or you can wait till winter to plant more carrots. But I thought I would give you my usual crop rotation, which may not be optimized, but works best for my playstyle. In the spring, I like to plant flax, which makes linen thread, and I can sell any remainder flax seeds I have. In the summer, I plant cabbages, which I use to make and sell pottage. In the autumn, I plant rye, which takes two seasons to grow, so I normally don't plant anything in the winter, and then I harvest and sell any excess rye in the coming spring, and then rinse and repeat. And that's all I have for farming. Hopefully this gave you a good idea on how to start farming in Medieval Dynasty. Leave a comment if you have any additional tips you would like to make known to others, or let us know your current plant rotation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.